Hi guys and ladies, here we are at the end of May. To North American fishermen, that means catching Lepomese macrochirus, or commonly called bluegill, or brim. They should be easier to catch because they're close to shore making baby bluegills, spawning. Let's see if we could literally catch them in the act. <laughs> Let's tie on this rubbery little guy by Z-Man Lures. It stretches, but it won't break. I'm not here to promote this thingy, just to try it out. It's hard to get it on a hook and hard to keep it on. So I'm going to use a drop of super glue. You need a, a jig head like this one. It has these barbs to better keep it on. Doesn't this creature look just like a big, ugly, green-headed horsefly. Time to try this out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right off the bat, not bad, average size, eh, a little small, pretty, pretty but small, we'll let him go. Ha ha, little, little, too little. A little better. Wow. That's average. Average size. I feel a little better now. Come on. Oh, nice. Nice. Not bad. Sometimes when you're after bluegill, you'll get bass. Large mouth bass. Nice one. Aha. No size at all. It's a male. They're under this big tree here. Yep. Yeah, it's a male. Not huge, but not too bad. Medium. The big tree. Oh, see? Ah. Every cast, little guy. And so there's the big tree I'm talking about. And there's the fish. Nice. Finally, I can say nice. <laughs> little better than average. 
I found the secret place where they're hanging out. You know, every year is different, a little different. See? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Nice, they're getting bigger. What's he doing? Every cast almost. But fun, I'm having fun now. You know, I just threw out a cast and I didn't feel anything. And so I realized there's algae on my lure. Never throw a lure with any algae or weed on it because bluegill especially will never touch it. Never, never touch it. It's a good one. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, this is what I came out here for. This guy. <laughs> All right, I've had my fun. Continue making babies. Don't let me interrupt. I hate to catch him in the act like that. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love catching them no matter what they're up to. I don't like keeping the fish that I catch right off the spawning beds. Number one, it's so easy. It's like cheating. And number two, um, I like to give the fish an opportunity to make babies, to spawn. Now, later in the year, I'll take them and put them in the frying pan. Yes. Yes. Stay on, baby. Whoa. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> okay. So if you want a real good time fishing, try catching them in the act. Thanks so much for watching. You need a jig head like this with these barbs and that jet going overhead. God bless America.